now we will discuss about the methods of separation methods of separation first method is hand picking hand picking method this method can be used for separating slightly larger size pieces like the piece of dirt stone husk from wheat rice or pulses can be used to remove particles of impurities like ton husk dirt etc from wheat rice or pulses in this method we pick the particles of impurities by hand so this method is known as hand picking in this method we pick the particles by hand so this method is known as hand picking method now the second method is threshing this method is used to separate grain from stalk this method is used to separate grain from stalks in this method stalks has been beaten and now grain seeds will free from stalks in this method we beat in the stalks and the grain seeds will free from the stalk threshing can be done by help of bullocks can be done by help of bullocks and also can be done by machine in this method we stock we beat in the stalks and the grain particles or grain seeds will free from the stalks now third one is winnowing this method is used to separate heavier and lighter components of mixture by wind or by blowing air this method is used to separate heavier and lighter components of a mixture by use of wind or by blowing air this method is used to separate lighter husk particles from the heavier seeds of grain it is used to separate lighter husk particles from heavier seeds of grain in this method we use grain plus husk suppose this is particles of grains and this is a particle of husk initially these two are mixed with each other so we can show this like this this is a particle of husk and this is a particle of grains here we use wind suppose we flow the winds from here suppose this is a wind 
now we drop the grain and husk particles from top to bottom we drop these particles from top to bottom just like this this particle of wheat plus husk as wind blow from these particles wind carry the particles of husk because it is very lighter so wind carry the particles of husk so we can denote husk particle here with wind so we can say that here only husk particle present but the particles of grains is heavier than husk particles so they will be drop down so we can say that here it's a heap of grain particles will collected will collected here that is a particles of grain and the particles of husk will be there in wind so that is a particle of husk so we can say that particles of grain and particles of husk has been separated by wind now next method sieving sieving is the most general method to separate heavier particles from lighter particles or we can say that big particles from small particles sieving removes particles of stones stalks and husk that may still remain with wheat after threshing and winnowing so we can say that sieving so we can say that sieving removes pieces of stones stalk and husk that may still remain with wheat after threshing and winnowing so we can say that it is compulsory to use sieving after threshing and winnowing because there are some particles have been left after threshing and winnowing so there is a need to remove these particles from grain particles so in order to remove these grain par uh, these particles there is husk particles stone particles and stalks from grain we should utilize sieving sieving is done by sieves which are used in different fields sieving is done by sieves which are used in different field sieving is also used at construction sites to separate pebbles and stones from sand sieving is also used to separate dirt or stone particles from floor so we can say that sieving is used to separate pebbles and stones from sand at construction sites and it is also used to separate stone and dirt particles from flow in sieve there is a some pores or some holes present sieve the structure of sieve is just like this here we can say that this type of a structure is present in sieve and this is a pores or holes which are present in sieves and the size of holes is depend on our requirement so we can say there are lot of types of sieves present 
but we sh we can use them as our requirement suppose uh, this is a particle of sand which are very small these are particles of sand now suppose these are big particles of suppose these are a big particles of stones which are present in sand and there is a need to separate these stone particles from sand now we use the sieves whose whole size is order of these sand particles or we can say that the whole size is too small than these stone particles so now we use the sieve here now we use the sieve here now this is a structure of sieve which we are utilize which we are utilizing to separate stone particles from sand particles as we are seeing that the pore size or hole size of sieve is too small than the size of stones so stone particles cannot pass through from this sieve this sieve but the particle size of sand is too small and it can easily pass through from this sieve so when we drop this mixture of sand and stone on sieve the particles of sand pass through from the sieve and we can collect it here particles of sand can pass from this sieve and we can collect this particle from the bottom side of sea but the particles of stone will embedded in these holes or we can say that they cannot pass through from sieves so we will get stone particles on the sieves or upper side of the sea and the particles of sand has been passed through from the sea so we can say that the particles of sand and the particles of stone has been separated now this is the method of sieving in which bigger particles is collected over the sieve and smaller particles pass through from the sieve and we can collect it to the bottom side of the sieve